Freaks, welcome to another wonderful episode of Foodies and Spice. And we still do our fried fusion season six. Aha! Uh -huh. The most important thing why people say anybody will go France must check out, especially if you go southwest of France. And where then they call Bordeaux? Now the vineyards. So today we they go check out the vineyard. And this vineyard where they go today belong to Yvon and Olamp. The special thing about Yvon and Olamp vineyard for Chateau Lagarette, we say na handmade wine. And so we'll just enter Bordeaux right now, see what then they do, and we'll go understand this wine and vineyard business the more. Are they come? I don't spend some good and quality time for inside the city of Bordeaux. Now, time to enter the outskirts of the town where I go from Sea Vineyard, where it beats now one of the things where I prepare to come do for Bordeaux. Since 6000 and 5000 BC, human beings don't they produce wine. And both the ancient Greek and Roman Empire contribute new and different styles to take improve on wine making. Till today, different style of wine, they way people they use, and now you make different kind of wine with different name day. The people of Bordeaux, then they take their wine business very seriously. Now one of their biggest exports. Because their wine, they are among one of the best for the world. But what you want to notice, we say, most of this wine business, now family business, we don't start for over 100 years ago. Today, I decide to visit Olamp and Yvonne, husband and wife, where there are two families there into this vineyard and wine business since the 14th century. And them two don't start to do their own. <laughs> D'accord. <laughs> so I am here at the vineyard already. And um, as you can see, these are the owners of the vineyard. And um, it's a beautiful place. They live in a beautiful chateau. Yeah, like a castle. Beautiful chateau. And um, we drove past the vines. So we'll go back in to see the, the, uh, the vineyard. And um, they are serving me tea already. They're wonderful hosts. So let me go for my tea. Olamp na film director. And even my husband na lecturer. Their style of wine. Then they call them bio wine. Sake of safe from the planting process to the time when they go take put for bottle. They're not they use any chemical at all. They're not they use fertilizer for the plant to grow inside the vineyard. They're not they use pesticide to kill the insect. And no enzyme to speed up the fermentation process of the wine. Okay. Voilà, derrière, vous avez la norme AB, organic and biodynamic. In biodynamic. Okay. Biodynamic. Il n'y a pas de chimie, même de chimie organique. Ni chimie, euh, disons, euh, de synthèse, ni chimie organique. No chemical, no. Um, totally, okay. totally natural. Okay. natural. Okay. Produits chimiques qu'on peut trouver, non détectés, non détectés, non détectés. Oh, okay. So all, uh, all of these chemicals are not yeah, in. Yeah, ça continue là, non détectés, yeah. non détectés. Yeah. yeah. So okay. it is totally natural. natural. Totally natural. Yeah. Totally natural wine. You don't have any of these. No detect, no detect, yeah. no detect, no detect, no detect. No um, aclonifer, no benazine, no buprofazine, no. All of Nothing. this. Voilà. Nos vins sont vendus dans tous ces pays du monde. Okay. So these are all the places where yes. you send the wine yes. to. Okay. Yes. Um, the wine no, is no, not, no. not in Nigeria yet. <laughs> no. no. Wow. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> when are you coming to Nigeria? <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> you should come to Nigeria. Then take me go to their vineyard where I harvest grapes for the first time. Whoops. Oh, uh, yeah, here's the grape. So it's time to harvest more grapes. Yep, we've got so many here. Uh. Hello. <laughs> Okay. C'est la première fois qu'elle coupe le raisin oui. Ah <laughs> C'est bien To harvest these grapes not be my mind at all. Even though say I happy well well to do it. Il faut toujours mettre un panier dessous. Parce qu'il y a okay, des graines so qui tombent, tombent oh. voilà. Et les graines qui tombent, oh. ce sont les meilleures pour le vin. Oh, okay. C'est les plus mûres. Trying out my first fresh grape right from the vine. First time. Yeah. <laughs> so you wanna you wanna take some and join me? The 
fruit is really nice. Mm. You it's will know fresh. it's fresh. Same kind of seed you see in the other one, but this is extremely fresh. Can I plant it? Mm. Right? Vous pouvez en porter au Niger, vous pouvez. So it will grow. <laughs> it will grow. <laughs> yeah, you see, yeah, it will grow. Other vineyards then feel use tractors to take harvest, but because of the bio wine technique and natural way where Yvonne and Olampon do their wine, na hand then take the harvest their grape. And when harvesting time come, they go invite all their friends, laborers, and everybody go enter inside the vineyard to harvest. There is no small work. <laughs> no small work at all. <laughs> Next, now to pour the grapes into this big basin, where then they take carry them, go to the cellar. After harvesting the grapes, this is the big bucket where you put in all the grapes. So inside the big bucket it goes. And you can continue. Harvesting the grapes can take like a whole day. Yvonne open the door to the cellar for me and he begin to explain the process when you take they make their special wine. Mm. Mm. Oh. It smells nice. Yeah. Il n'y a pas d'électronique là. Il n'y a que de la mécanique. La machine. Oh ok, the machine removes voilà. it. Voilà. 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 Oh, ok. Voilà. Ok. Voilà. La machine ne prend que ça. Oh ok, that's what the machine does. Oui. So where, where does this one Alors come ça, ça sort là-bas. Okay, so where, 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 where do you pick it from? Here, it's here. Okay. Okay. And so the seeds will follow this uh, pipe Hello. into this tank. This tank, yes. Yeah, into this tank. Okay. okay. So when you put the grapes from there, the it separates it separates the seeds from the stem. The stem it separates the seeds from the stem, so the stem falls out here, and it's sanctions or sucks the seed into the tank for the first fermentation. Now, after this machine does separate the seed from the stem, for the first alcoholic fermentation inside this tank, it go stay at least eight days and then go measure the density of the alcohol every day till it get to the level where they want. C'est la machine pour mesurer la densité. Okay, this is what you use to measure the alcoholic level. Okay. okay. From the tank, the fermented skin go go into this wine press, and the wine press go press out all the juice come up from the skin. Wow. So, um, wow. what they are telling me now is after the fermentation mm -hmm. here, they carry the grapes and pour it into this press. So they will press very well to make sure that all the liquid comes out from the grapes. So you have it all here and you go follow this hole to the underground tank from the underground tank you go enter into this other tank for more fermentation over here because it is natural production they don't add any chemicals at all to speed up the process of fermentation so it moves to the tank where it stays for at least six months and above before they start bottling it or putting it in the cask so other places they might add some chemicals to speed up the fermentation but that they don't do here because they produce only natural red wine we enter inside inside the cellar where then they store the wine inside these barrels or cask for at least one to two years and this is the inner chamber of the cellar yes here wines are stored inside this cask this cask are made of oak wood they make up made of oak wood and a lot of wine in here and they can last or stay in here for a year or two years before they are put into bottles and when they are in the bottles they can stay for so so long even tell me say 100 barrels of wine now in the this cellar and the 100 barrels fit produce 30,000 bottles of wine this um, 100 barrels can make 30,000 bottles of wine you know that what that is plenty money beaucoup l'argent <laughs> mais là où notre vin est excellent yes it's excellent il est fait know. avec nos doigts this is handmade it's um, um organic there is no chemical in it so because of that they can't produce more than this um, capacity yeah because it's it takes more time and it comes out with 
fantastic taste and it's healthy. C'est le vin que faisaient nos grands-parents. C'est le vin des grands-pères. Mm. Nos grands-parents, mes grands-parents, mes parents d'Ivo et ses grands-parents faisaient le vin comme on fait aujourd'hui ici à Garretta. So this is like a family tradition. Yes. Their yes. grandparents yes. did the wine like this, their parents yes. did the wine like this, and they yes. are doing the wine like this. And I believe their children will do the wine like this. <laughs> it's a good wine for Nigeria. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I told you, you have to bring the wine to Nigeria. <laughs> we want organic wine too. Bon pour la santé et bon pour le moral aussi. Okay. C'est bon pour le moral et c'est un vin, même si on en boit beaucoup, on est pas mal à la tête. Yvonne, give me breakdown on how long it will take to make wine. So Yvonne wants to tell me something very important. <laughs> Alors, il y a une année de production dans les cuves. Okay. Une année à deux années de production dans les barriques et une année dans les bouteilles. So put together we have like four to five years. Yes. Craft a sink année. Ça, yeah. exact, elle a compris. Uh -huh. Donc ça veut dire que aujourd'hui on vend le vin de 2010-2011. Okay, now if they want to sell, they will sell the one of 2010 or 2011. You love my French. <laughs> <laughs> now. Time to taste. Wow, this is really rouge. Red. red. <laughs> this is red. Okay, I have to swirl. Red. Don't you? Don't you smell it already? Yeah. But it's the vendange de la semaine dernière, ça. Last week. Just last week. Okay. Nice. After tasting the first juice from the tank. Time to go taste the one inside the finished bottle. Even show us the traditional way to taste wine. You pour into the carafe. The wine go mix with oxygen for the carafe. Then you pour them inside the wine glass. Turn them gently away or you both call swelling. For the oxidization process, you go check out the color. Then, cheers! Thank you. To good life. And health. T'as pas mis dans notre verre? To know a very good wine, when you drink it, you're supposed to have like an aftertaste in your mouth. Aftertaste of the wine after you swallow it, and that is exactly what I've gotten with this wine. I swell a lovely aroma. Il a beaucoup de puissance, ça c'est. And when you swallow, you actually have that aftertaste in your mouth. And that's how you know a very good wine. Thank you very much. I think it's time to go now. We have enjoyed our vineyard visit. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Hola. Yeah. And what's your name, Ron? Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. So, the movie. It's for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm going to keep this. Even if uh, uh, even if I don't find water, I'll take it to Lagos. Oh. Yes, I'm taking it to Lagos. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank, you. Lagos. Thank you. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you so much. For the holics, I'm having a lot of love from France, from Bordeaux. Then show me plenty love for Chateau Lagaret. I for like to stay. But time to go. Time to go. Oh. I have a lot of wines and oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. I will come back again. Okay. Oh, wow. Bye. Now all about wine. And I get one correct wine company. We're back this particular episode up to they say okay. Oh. Now go see my wine. Now French wine. So we'll go see them during table period. So what thing we go feed eat to take follow this wine? Are they do fish fillet? A little bit of um, inspiration from Fabian last week kitchen. So fish fillet. Now white fish. I get my salad corner here. Let's use um, carrot, cucumber, and my apples. Garlic, lemon, and butter. I get my flour here and French salad dressing. And for the back, of course, my bread basket because I tell Una, say for French fusion, everything comes with bread. Yeah. So, first thing first, I'll put my flour inside my bowl. 
I get my salt, I go sprinkle inside. Get my oregano, my rosemary leaves, a little pinch of curry, black pepper. For some little smokiness, mix everything together. Sprinkle a little salt. To your flour. Oil the grill. This point you go add butter and our French word for today red wine vin rouge rouge is red vin is wine at this point you can like to season with more salt black pepper okay for the holics today I will use my food processor to chop this vegetable. Okay. This ready. That ready. Food done done. You take one lemon wedge. Your washed lettuce. Let's make some beauty out of this. And your French dressing. This food is on spice, people. This is beauty. Time to go chop.